Hey all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas and today I want to show you how to create this pretty ombre rose wreath with items from the Cat's Pajamas and the Dollar Tree. First off, I'm starting with this sparkly heart from the Dollar Tree. Take the holographic love off the top of the heart and we can save it for another project. Now this heart is just a frame wrapped in tinsel, so we'll unwind the tinsel to reveal the frame heart. I love this frame. It's got a three-dimensional quality that will be really nice in this project. Now that the frame is exposed, we can start adding the roses. I got all my roses from the Dollar Tree. They have a really great range of fabric roses at a great price. We'll be using four variations of pink for this part. For this project, we'll be using three bushes for the top two colors, and the last two colors, you only need two bushes. Each of the bushes have five roses. Remove the roses from the bushes and save the stems. I have a different project in mind for these guys. So now to start. I'm placing the smallest red rose in the little crevice of the heart using hot glue. Next, place along the top of each section where the bars meet the edge a rose head and secure with hot glue. Now go down a row and hot glue a rose head at the crossbars and at the edge of the heart where the bar meets it. Now in order to really accentuate the shape of the heart, I'm adding a couple more roses to the top bumps. Turn over the wreath and add more hot glue to the heads. Now for the next color. Attach the roses to the crossbar where you place the last row of red roses. Also place roses on the bar below that bar. This really helps make the colors blend and keep the wreath full. For any spaces that are too small for a rose head, place a dot of hot glue on the side of a rose petal and press it to an adjoining head to cover the bald spot. For the third color, we'll be adding them to the bar below the last bar we use and really pack the roses in there. If you have any holes, fill them in. Now really secure the roses. Don't forget to add more glue to the back where the rose is attached to the frame. Finally, you have one row and the bottom point. And I'll just fill them with the lightest pink roses. Looks really cute, I think. Now finally a bow. I love this diamond wired ribbon for this fluffy wreath. It gives it almost a French look, I think. I'm doing a very easy bow here, just two loops with long tails secured in the middle with a wire, no tying off. And I'll attach the bow to the heart and just zhuzh it up. Now I could put my heart on my door as it is, but I think I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm using three of these signs from the Dollar Tree, removing the hangers and filling the holes with hot glue. 
These signs are great because the grooves that you see here are actually cut into the signs. I'm removing the hearts and I'll save them for another project. You can see I had a really rough time removing them, so it's a, actually a good thing that I'm going to be covering the damaged areas with the heart. I'm attaching the boards together to make an even bigger board. I'm adding a craft stick in between the boards in order to maintain that shiplap look. Now I'll just add craft sticks to the back with hot glue to secure the boards together. Now that that's done, let's paint. It'll take me two coats of this chalk white paint to cover the red. Once the final coat is dry, let's add some wording with stencils. I wanted to show you how to use these stencils without making a mess. The key is by using a dry brush. When you use a brush that's too wet, the wet paint will get sucked underneath the stencil and cause a blobby look. So you want to use a dry brush for two reasons. One, it won't get sucked under the stencil, and two, it'll dry pretty quickly so you can move on to the next letter. I've put down a small blob of black paint down and I'm daubing off the sponge so that there's very little on the brush. You want to make sure it's almost dry. Then hold the stencil in place and daub the letter. It'll take a little more time to get the letter down because of the dry paint. If you need to come back and add more paint later, you can. Now what happens when I don't dab off enough of the paint and it's still wet? Look at the W. You can see that the paint got sucked under the stencil and blobbed out the, the letter. Once the letters are done, I'll just use a fine brush to fill in the place where the letter goes over the crease in the boards. Also, I think I'll join up the letters by connecting the lines made by the stencil, just so that it doesn't have that stencily look. Now, I've cut a length of rope for the hanger, and I'm attaching it to the back of the board with a lot of hot glue. Once the glue is dry, and set, I'll attach the heart to the front with more hot glue. And I'll tack the ribbon in place to the roses with a little bit more hot glue. And that's just it. Pretty easy, eh? I just love this rose ombre wreath, and it's so sweet with this shiplap background. I hope you love it too. Have a great day.